What's up everyone, Jeremy here from mtgheadquarters.com and it's here, your official Kanza Tarkir booster box opening. Let's get right going. Let's get right into it. That's better. Um, this box was generously sent by channel super patron MTG Card Market. You guys hear me mention them all the time. I hear extremely positive stories in the comments from when people work with them, whether it's selling them their cards or meeting them with them at GPs or purchasing from them. We'll put a link to them in the description below. At least go check out their website. They've been with us well over a year um, and are one of our most, one of the most important channel supporters we have. And they have great prices. They ship internationally and we're super happy to have them. So thank you MTG Card Market for being amazeballs. Let's get going right away with this booster box. I've gone through five intro packs, two or three prize packs, a fat pack, and I have not opened a single fetch land. This ends now. It says me. It ends now because I say so. So how much cons of Tarakiri did you guys buy? I went uh, semi-light, just because I'm, I just don't have the money right now. I plan on buying some later. Uh, Mistfire Weaver, Bellowing Sandalbrute, Nomad Outpost, and our very first rare, Ivory Tusk Fortress, <clears throat> two and one Abzan. I'm just gonna call it like that. Five, seven, untap each creature control with a one, one counter on it during each other player's untap step. Uh, pretty saucy. It's actually a fairly decent creature for five. I mean, honestly, kind of stands alone. Um, all right, Dragon Grip, pretty fun little tricky enchantment. Cranial Archive, Obzon Falconer, and Herald of Anafenza. One, two with Outlast. Whenever you activate Herald of Anafenza, as Outlast ability, put a one, one White Warrior creature token onto the battlefield. So what are you guys thinking of cons? Uh, I've definitely seen some mixed reactions. As I've been saying, I'm going to wait. I'm reserving my judgment until I actually play more events. Normally I play several pre-releases and I feel like I have a pretty good idea, but this time I just did not have time. Abs on Battle Priest. Roar of the Challenge. Dragon's Eye Sa Savants. An Utter End. Premium removal. First pickable, will see standard play. Excellent card. Four mana, instant speed, exile, target, non-land, permanent. I think that's the first time I've seen uh, that card. Hopefully not the last. I plan on playing it in... I will build a new standard deck. Now, I've, tell, I've been telling people... Hold on one second. Mardu Heart Piercer. Watcher of the Roost. Murderous Cut, very good. Enduring Instigator, 2-1 with Morph. When it's turned faced up, uh, if it's your turn, you gain control of another target creature until end of turn. Untap that creature, it gains haste until end of turn. Very good. Um, Concentar Kier kind of marks an important time for me. Uh, it's kind of like I've been back. As you guys know, I started out around Revised, and I've been back playing regularly since now um, RTR which means I now am, should be familiar with everything in standard. And that's a good feeling. It's a crummy feeling when you're not. Chief of the Edge, Swarm of Bloodflies, that card can, can get bonkers. Tusk Guard, Captain, and Hardened Scales. One mana, enchantment. If one or more 1-1 one, one counters would be placed on a creature you control, that, that many plus one are placed on it instead. Somebody might break that card. Um... So I feel I've never felt more confident about going into standard. I think cons was definitely is definitely going to present a very interesting standard environment with a lot of splashing. Winter Flame, Mardu Charm, Warden of the Eye, and Offensa the foremost. Uh, one Abzan, <laughs> four four. Whenever it attacks, put a one one counter on another target tapped creature you control. If a creature card 
would be put into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere. Exile inside. Very powerful card. And, ooh, a foil mythic. <sighs> but it's Pearl Lake Ancient. 6-7 with Flash. Uh, it can't be countered. It has Prowess. Return three lands you control to their owner's hands. Uh, return Pearl Lake Ancient to its owner's hand. Interesting. Is a foil mythic. Oh, and we have a Sarkon emblem. All right. So that's a thing. Now give me a Sarkon. I got a foil mythic. It's not a foil Sarkon. But, or a four-wheel Sorin. I'm still waiting on all the pulls, so hopefully we'll get hot here soon, huh? Seek the Horizon. Definitely a premium card in draft. Death Frenzy. Frontier uh, Bivouac. Ah, you guys told me how to pronounce this in the video, and now I forgot. Ah, there we go. Woo! Polluted Delta. Uh, pay one life. Sacrifice Polluted Delta. Search your library for an island or a swamp, then put it on the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Huzzah! All right. Our very first fetch, and it's a Polluted Delta. I suspect these cards, you know, all these fetches will be down to $10 to $15, maybe less at some point. So it's not bananas. Uh, but it's it's an important thing for me to have pulled a polluted delta, and it's important that they were reprinted because the prices were getting out of control. Venerable Lamasu, Kiru Bloodsucker, Take Up Arms. Oh, always back to back fetch lands, and there's a Windsap Heath. Uh, it's the green white fetchy. Oh, fetchy! All right. Come on, how about uh, back to back to back? Triplicate, triplicate uh, fetchies. Uh, the general count, I think, is somewhere between two and four per box. Kintree Invocation. Suspension Field. Dead Drop. Oh, he did it! Three in a row, Flooded Strand. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm glad this is happening on the official Constantar Cure Booster Box opening video. Thanks again, MTG Card Market. I need play sets of them all, so it's a good start. We've got like 30 packs left. We probably won't see any more fetches, but you just never know. We have Brave the Sands, Sandstep Citadel, Ice Feather Aven, and uh, Rakasha Visor Vizier. Uh, two. And a black, green, blue. 4-4. Four, four. Whenever one or more cards are put into exile from your graveyard, put that many 1-1 one, one counters. Morph token. That was pretty epic, huh? Three fetches in a row, including one that was semi-called. Mardu Blazebringer. Pinewalker. Witness of the Ages. And Mardu Ascendancy, uh, green, white, uh, red, white, black. Whenever a non-token creature you control attacks, put a 1-1 goblin creature token on the battlefield tapped and attacking. Sacrifice it, and uh, creatures you control get plus zero, plus three till end of turn. Oh, we have a foil salt road patrol. Um, I don't know if a foil mythic would cancel out your foil rare, but uh, there's still a chance of a foil rare, I think. Maybe not, though. Who knows? I know they were messing with the distribution a little bit. Armament Corpse. Ride Down. Very good card. Windstorm. And Mantis Rider. Uh, blue, Red, White. 3-3 three, three, Flying Vigilance and Haste. Very good. And a Snake Token. Well, hopefully... Uh, you guys can pull epically as well. Dazzling Ramparts. Incremental Growth. Love that. Soul Tie Charm. And Sadisi, Blood Tyrant, and Mythic. One black, green, blue. Three, three. Uh, whenever it has a battlefield or attacks, put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. Whenever one or more creature cards are put in the graveyard uh, from your library, put a 2-2 two -two black creature... Black zombie creature token out of the battlefield. That card is legit. It's too legit to quit. Hey, hey. All 
right. Swarm of the Blood Flies. Uh, this card is pretty fun. High Spider Mantis, Sultai Soothsayer, and Grim Haru. <laughs> I always say Haruspex. Three mana, three, two with Morph, and whenever another non token creature you control dies, draw a card. Ooh, a foily Savage Punch. Somebody will like to have that card, I assume. All right. We are out of the sauce, I think, officially. Arc Lightning, love this card. Quiet Contemplation. Raider Spoils and Icy Blast. Very strong. Tap X creatures with Ferocious. If you control creatures with power of four or greater, those creatures don't untap during their controller's next untap step. Very, uh, extremely high possibility of getting blown out. And then we have a Foil Kintree Invocation. Maybe after cons, I'll be able to release some more HQ packs. We'll see how it goes. Keep an eye out for those. Goblin Slide. Ruthless Ripper. Murderous Cut. And uh, Wu-Tang Clan's Flying Crane Technique. Three colorless, blue, red, white. Untap all creatures you control, they gain flying and double strike until end of turn. Definitely a, uh, it's expensive. I mean, it's six mana. That's no joke. But you want to do it, like, before they block. Because once they're blocked, they're still blocked. Stubborn Denial. Mystic Monastery. Warname Aspirant. And Master of Pearls. Two mana, two, two. Uh, with Morph, when it's turned face up. Creatures you control get plus two plus two till end of turn. So that can definitely be a blowout, and in worst case, it's still a 2-2 uh, bear. So, you know, there's that. All right. We have Timely Horde Mate. Secret Plans. Heart Piercer Bow. And Segu Mahler. Six mana, green, blue. With Trample and Hexproof, and has Morph. Seems legit. Just a, a good creature, right? Uh, how about another three-pack of uh, Fetchies? That would be pretty saucy. Blinding Spray. Monastery Swift Spear. Mardu Rough Rider! And Retribution of the Ancients. One black mana for enchantment. Pay black, remove X, one one counters from among creatures you control. Target creature gets minus X minus X till end of turn. It's a fringe card. Maybe in Constructed. But. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still super sick. I hate being sick. I'm a, I'm a giant baby when I'm sick. Jeskai Charm. Watcher of the Roost, Tuskard Captain, and Avalanche Tusker. Two mana and uh, two colors and the green, blue, red. 6-4 whenever it attacks target creature. Defending player controls blocks blocks it. Uh, this combat if able. Very good and limited. And again, I speak mostly from a limited standpoint. All right. Master the Way. Teamer Charm. Windstorm. Trail of Mystery. Two mana. A one and a green for an enchantment. Whenever a face down creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may search your library for a basic land card. Reveal it and put it in your hand. Then shuffle your library. Whenever a permanent you control it gets turned face up, if it's a creature, it gets plus two plus two till end of turn. That seems pretty good. And we have a Foil Bloodfire Mentor. I mean, I wouldn't, you know, I don't know. I can't I can't speak for standard, but it's certainly good in a draft deck where you have even, you know, three or four morphers. Maybe five. You want to have enough to make it worth it. Sultai Flare. Horde Ambusher. 
Frontier. Uh oh. Yes, Bloodstained Mire. And it got me out of having to pronounce that word again. There's our fourth Fetchy. This is the uh, red black Fetch Land. Oh, Fetchy. All right. We are on the high end of Fetchies, which probably means we won't see like a Sarkon or a Soren. But I don't know. Mardu Blazebringer. Mardu Charm. Take up arms. Oh, there's a mythic though. Clever impersonator. Four mana. Both of our mythics. I think we have three mythics so far. Uh, you may have clever impersonator copy. Uh, end of the battlefield is a copy of any non land permanent on the battlefield. Fine. Come on, Sarkhan. Sarkhan and Soren are both super spendy right now, too. I didn't think Soren would be, but he is. Hordling Outburst. Uh, Gurmag Swift Swing. Card's okay. Water Whirl. And Dragon Throne of Tarkir. Four mana, equipped creature has Defender and gets Pay 2 Tap. Other creatures you control gain Trample and get XX until end of turn where X is this creature's power. Seems like a good draft card. And... Seems good. Too early to say about standard, I think. Armament Corpse. Seeker of the Way. Teamer Charger. And uh, Rakasha Death Dealer. I love this card. Not only uh, just a sweet bear, but also a cat demon. Uh, with one black, one green, it gets plus two, plus two on a turn, or one black, one green. Regenerate. Very, very powerful card. Very, very powerful. It's like, uh, I mean, it's a very powerful card. Could definitely see some constructed play. Winter Flame. Sand Steep Citadel. Witness of the Ages. And a Polluted Delta. Woo! That is our fifth fetch land. Insane. Okay. That is insane. That is a lot of fetchies. Oh, fetchies. All right. Burn away. Ride down. Despise and Crackling Doom. Very good. Red, white, uh, black deals two damage to each opponent, plus they must sacrifice their creature with the greatest power. Very good card. So, again, thank you to the awesome people at mtgcardmarket.com. Their link is in the description below. Show them some love. At least check them out. I'm not saying you have to buy from them. I'm just saying they've treated the subscribers very well. They've given us uh, coupon codes, and they support the channel with uh, sometimes they send sealed product like this. So thank you, guys. Venerable Lamassu. Pine Walker. Nomad Outpost. And Siege Rhino. 4-5 for 4 with Trample, and when it enters the battlefield, each opponent loses 3 life, and you gain 3 life. That seems good. That's a very good card. Very good card. Tempo, life gain, fatty, four or five for four is good. It's just value all around. Six point life swing. Very, very good card. Chief of the Edge. Warning Aspirant. Bear's Companion. And another mythic, See the Unwritten. Six mana, reveal the top eight cards of your library. You may put a creature card from among them onto the battlefield, put the rest into your graveyard. Also, that's ferocious. If you control a creature of four or greater, you may put two creatures. That is uh, potentially uh, very saucy, potentially see constructed play. Maybe not. Maybe. It's extremely powerful. I mean, you could put potentially two Stormbreath Dragons on the battlefield or two Pelucranos on the battlefield for six mana. Uh, that seems good. Timely Horde Mate. Now, you might miss completely. That's true. Siltai Flare. 
Dead Drop, and Deflecting Palm. If I've already read through a rare, I won't go through it twice. Still looking for our first Planeswalker. Always looking for fetch lands. We need to complete our sets. Well, this is the start of my collection. River Wheel Aerialists. Cranial Archive. Jeskai Elder. And Kiru Lord. This guy can go with uh, Jared. 4-4 uh, four, four for 6. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may pay 2 in a black. If you do, return a creature card at random from your graveyard to the battlefield. It gains Flying Trample and Haste. Exile that card at the beginning of your next end step. If it would leave the battlefield, exile it instead of putting it anywhere else. Okay. So if you guys are just getting into magic, or maybe uh, this Council Talk here booster box opening has brought you to the channel, now is a great time to subscribe. We're working close to our 75,000 subscriber celebration in which we're going to open one of every fat pack ever created by Wizards of the Coast. So subscribe to uh, keep in touch. Obs on Battle Priest, Become Immense, Raider Spoils, Ghost Fire Blade. Equip creature gets 2-2, two, two. Ghost Fire Blade's ability costs 2 less to activate if targets a colorless mana, or colorless creature. And a foil Skullkin. Um, this card is actually really good. In, I imagine it'd be very, very good and limited now that I see it. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I do so much more than openings. I know a lot of people just say, oh, you know, he does openings or whatever, but definitely do a lot more than that on the channel. There's gameplay, tutorials, you know, all sorts of fun stuff. Arc Lightning, Bellowing Sandal Br Saddle Brute, Obzan Falconer, and Jeskai Sendacy. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, creatures you control get plus one, plus one, till end of turn, untap those creatures. Uh, whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. Oh, and a foil. Opulent Palace. Foil land got me. Got me. Started to feel, I felt a little rumble. A little rumble in my tummy. In my plums. But no such luck. Stubborn Denial. Not going to complain. This box has been excellent. Opulent Palace. Death Frenzy. Oh, is this Sarkhan? Oh, so close. Crater's Claws. I love this card. I know, I mean, I still am holding out to have it see some constructive play, but it's basically uh, X, one red and X. It deals X damage. If you have a Ferocious, you can deal two more. I just, I just love direct damage. I know maybe that's the casual player in me. All right, two packs left. Could we complete Magical Christmas Land and find yet another fetch land? Will we find one of the Planeswalkers? No Planeswalkers in this box, although I think I'll take six, five or six uh, fetch lands over a Planeswalker, although I don't know. Chief of the Scale, Mur Ek Nightblade, Ice Feather Even, and Dig Through Time. Eight mana with Delve. Look at the top seven cards of your library. Put two of them into your hand, and the rest are on the bottom of your library in any order. Last pack. So again, thank you, MTG Card Market. Please check them out. If you're new to the channel, now would be a great time to crush that like button. All right. Briber's Purse. Set Adrift. Air of the Wilds. And our last, our last rare of the box... Mardu Ascendancy. Red, white, black. And we already went through that card. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And I will uh, go through the notables. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, now would be a great time to crush that subscribe button. Uh, and if you like this video, please uh, do me a favor and destroy that like button, which now doesn't say like anymore. It's just a little thumb, but it helps us grow the channel, helps new people find it. So uh, I would really appreciate it. And Offenza, we have a Foil Pearl Lake Ancient, Pearl Lake Ancient. We have a Polluted Delta, Windsup Heath, Flooded Strand, 
Sadisi Blood Tyrant, Clever Impersonator, a Bloodstained Mire, a Polluted Delta. One, two, three, four, five. See the Unwritten. Okay, so and then we got some Ascendancies. We ended up with five Shockies. Crackling Doom is good. Icy Blast. All the Ascendancies basically. Utter Ends good. Ivory Tusk Fortress. Overall, a pretty good box. I will say uh, on the uh, saucy end of the fetch lands. So I'm happy to start out my collection. I will move on to my next box. And in the meantime, I hope you have taken a moment to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. As always, I look forward to chatting with you in the comment section down below and we'll talk to you again real soon. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, check out some of our most popular playlists from MTG Vlogs, sick gameplay videos, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. I upload three to four new Magic the Gathering videos every week, so if you haven't already, please take a moment to crush that subscribe button to join one of the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channels on YouTube. Talk to you later.